Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on what to look for for goat condition when you're out looking for to get your first goats or add to your existing herd. Now, there is a scoring method. I am not familiar with that, but I can tell you just general information that would save you a lot of um, cost and expense going down the road. And one of the first things you want to do is run your hands over the goat. Of course, I got Miss Simba is my model today. And um, what you're looking for... Okay, let me get behind her here. On, Sim, on any goat, what you want to do is feel... Oh, I'm getting a leg cramp. I'm getting old, guys. <laughs> oh, I ate a bug. Okay, guys. What we're feeling for... Go is you want to feel for ribs. If you can feel the ribs, they're underweight. And this backbone ridge here, if you can feel that sticking up prominently, they're underweight. So weight is a real important part when you're looking at goats. The other part is the FAMACHA score. So if you've never had goats, what you want to do is pull the eyelid down and look at the color. Hers are nice and pink. If you have a white, when you pull down the eyelid and it's white, that's bad. That's to the point where your goat, if you bought it, can pass away. That means they're overloaded with parasites. Now, we've had really good luck using Formula One of Molly's herbals for knocking parasites. And our goats seem to be doing really, really good with it. And um, so we're following that. The next thing is to check hooves. You want to check hooves for one, tenderness, which could mean hoof rot. Two, you want to be able to check a hoof. Simba, are you going to cooperate? Come on, shift your weight. There you go, girl. You want to check a hoof for trimming. So you just lift up the hoof and you look at the pads of the hoof to make sure the hooves have been trimmed. And if you see any overgrowth it'll look like a piece of their toenail has grown around the base of their toe that is bad that's where bacteria and germs start festering and they get like a yeast buildup which can end up going into hoof rot it's easy enough if you come out it depends on your herd and how their hooves grow some herds you only need to do every six months some herds like ours we do every two to three months so it just depends on how fast the hooves grow and the other thing to check i'm sorry simba yes i'm going to show your bum oh stand stand good girl the other thing to check is their bum if like her tail fe <laughs> her tail feathers <laughs> her tail hairs have no poop stuck to them and her bum's nice and clean which means she does not have any obvious signs of diarrhea now, the, the great thing for you, if you're out looking at goats to purchase, pay attention if they start going to the bathroom. You want, um, let me see if I can find one. Oh, it's like this. Right here. Jim. I got some right here. If your goat is not pooping these, there's something wrong, guys. Nine times out of ten, it's poor diet an unhealthy goat or parasites. So those little nuggets are what you add to your garden. And it shouldn't be in clumps, it should be fallout individual nuggets. And that's what you're gonna look for there. <coughs> um, I'm trying to think of anything else. You sunk in here? Um, that's part of body condition, but Jim made a good point. When you're evaluating the goat, their hips, yes, there's, there's, their hips are right here but they should not be prominent and this area should not be hugely caved in. Again, that's a weight issue. If the goat looks skinny to the touch, but they have a huge belly, either the goat is pregnant or it has bloat. Bloat can be deadly to goats. So that's something else to be aware of. Uh, guys, that's pretty much what I have. I'm going to come back in a little bit and go over what a goat in poor condition looks like. And unfortunately, yes, we have three. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you, this is our new goat, Ginger. And we weren't aware when we went to pick them up the condition they were in. So I'm gonna go over 
comparing her to Miss Simba. One of the things you I'm doing right now is running my hands over her back. Every bone on the top of this goat's back is prominent, which means she's well underweight. When I run my hands down her rib cage, I can feel all her ribs, guys. Again, that's another sign a goat is well underweight. And if you look here, see how concave she is? That's another sign of a weight issue, okay? You can literally feel her bones right here and it's kind of scary. One of the other things we talked about was um, checking for my for matcha scores. And you want to check to see if their eyes are clear. You don't want cloudy eyes. Her eyes look really good to be honest with you. Her Famacha score is not bad, but I think we have room for improvement. So we will be deworming these girls and boy. And let's go to her back end. Okay, now note the back end. Oh, Ginger, you're okay. You're okay. Okay, we're gonna note the back end. I don't know if you can see this. Zoom in on her tail. See how dirty her bum is? That's a sign of loose stools or diarrhea on a goat. That is a concern. That could be parasites. It could be uh, ruminant issues, which is her tummy issues. And um, you just have to really, it's not an easy fix, guys. Loose stools on a goat is hard to fix. We're hoping nutrition and the boosts we gave them today with all the treatments we did with them today will help them. Now again, we're gonna go back to one other thing, hooves. Hi, Trilly. Hi, baby girl. Trilly is my goat in milk right now and her condition is actually just as bad as this one. All right, we're gonna lift Ginger's hoof. Uh, uh, uh. It's okay, it's just a chicken. Yeah, you share a little bit of space with chickens. All right, let's see if I can get her to shift her weight. Come on, come on, come on, Ginger. Come on, just shift your weight. All right, Jim, if you want to show the hoof. You can see her hooves are well overgrown. There is, I can see a pad here, but this one needs to be really trimmed up. So that's one of our projects in the next couple days is we're going to work on this girl's hooves. We already checked the little buckling. His name is Picasso. We've already checked him. Um, and his hooves are going to be okay for now. But we did have to treat him for what could be potentially hoof rot. So I hope you like that. And I hope it helps you if you go out hunting for new goats. Say a prayer for our new girls. And we got a long road ahead of us. All right, guys, thank you and God bless.